In today's Sunday Spotlight, Eric Draper, he witnessed history as the White House photographer for George W. Bush, and his new book, Front Row Seat, captures a president at work. My job was not to be a distraction. My job was to purely document, and it was a very uh, unique role to have that much access to the president and not to be a participant in the meetings, but to be an observer. I have a chapter on family, which included lots of images of President Bush with his father. Whenever he and his dad were together, it was magical to me. 9-11 was just off the charts. Uh, it was a roller coaster of emotion, and, and I knew that I had a job to do that day to focus on capturing those moments, and I used the camera as a distraction. Well, one day in the Oval Office, I believe this was uh, in 2002, uh, a box arrived, and it was a gift. He opens the box, and he pulls out this boxing robe, and on the back, it had his name, George W. Bush. So, of course, he tries it on, and he's looking around for someone to show it to, and so in that image, He's opening the Oval Office door, looking through the hallways just to see if anyone's walking around because he really wanted to show it off. The president would visit uh, injured troops uh, a lot. In this visit, uh, he just presented the soldier who was injured in Afghanistan with a Purple Heart. And he reached over to kiss his forehead. Uh, and this really illust illustrates the compassion that the president had, has, still has for the troops that have given the ultimate sacrifice. And in this image, the late Coretta Scott King uh, and her children, and she's holding the plans at the time for the MLK Memorial. Coretta Scott King asked the president, can you pray with us? And the president said, of course. And they joined hands. Those are the moments that, uh, that I love capturing, the surprise unscripted moments. Our thanks to Eric Draper. And now, we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the names of three soldiers killed in Afghanistan. And that is all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.